Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here, and today I want to show you a couple of tricks that I use to navigate a code base on GitHub that I may not be familiar with. So let's be honest with ourselves, right? How many times have we gone to GitHub to look at a project and we're sitting there trying to navigate the code base and it makes no sense? Uh, and it's not because the person has it laid out poorly. Well, I mean, they might have it laid out poorly, uh, but it's just different than how maybe I structure my code base, right? And so when you're in big projects, uh, it, it can be difficult to kind of, you know, navigate and find what you're looking for. And so I have two tools that I use to help me navigate these code bases that I may not be familiar with. Now, before I show you these tools, if you're not subscribed, now would be a great time to subscribe my channel. Also, I'm not going to show you my tricks if you don't like this video. So like the video. And after you do that, I'll share my tricks with you. No, I'm serious. Like, really, like, like the video and, and I'll show you. Okay, just, just, just like it. All right, thanks. I appreciate that like. So let's go ahead and look at the two tricks that I use to navigate a GitHub code base. All right, so I'm going to start by opening up my web browser. And uh, I'm going to start by uh, looking at the Prism code base on GitHub. So that's just github.com slash prism library slash prism. Now, I'm super comfortable with the Prism code base on GitHub, so I know exactly where to go when I'm looking for something like, okay, I know where to go in the source folder, if I'm dealing with WPF, if I need a container from going directly into prism.wpf, and you know, if I want to talk about MVVM stuff, and here's the view model locator. Like, I know where to go because I'm familiar with this code base. But let's say that you're not. You're, this is the first time you've ever seen the Prism library. And you don't want to be clicking around in here looking, you know, trying to find what you're looking for. You just want to just, you know, make it easier. Uh, and so one tool that I use is called Octotree. As you can see right here on the left hand side, there's this little tab and I can kind of hover over that tab and it's going to open up Octotree. And it gives me like a tree based view of the repo. So now I can kind of expand these folders looking for what I'm what I want, right? I can just, okay, what's this forms, services? Okay, no, that's not what I'm looking for. And then once I get where I'm going, uh, it's like, oh, oh yeah, this is great. Then you click on the uh, on the file that you want and then GitHub will load that file. Uh, this is a pretty simple, but yet very effective tool uh, that I really, really enjoy. And of course it's resizable so you can make it bigger and smaller. Uh, and you may be asking yourself, well, how do you install this? Well, it's actually quite easy. It, it works for Chrome or it works for Edge Chromium. So the new version of, uh, of Edge. Just go to your extensions, right? And then you're gonna go uh, get extensions for Microsoft Edge. Uh, otherwise you're going to the Chrome store and just search for Octotree. And when you get to Octotree, uh, well, if I spell it right, that would really help. Octotree, you'll see it up here, Octotree GitHub code tree. It's already installed uh, for me, so I have a remove, and then it gets installed, and then you'll see this little button up here called Octotree, and that's where you're gonna have it. Boom, that's how easy it is. Now, another trick that I like to use, uh, depending on the code base, is uh, I would really like to see this in more of a, uh, a code editor experience. like. But I don't necessarily want to fork the project, right? I don't want to download a zip file and open it up in Visual Studio or anything like that. What would be great is if I could just open this project uh, in a code editor online. Wouldn't that be amazing? Well, luckily for us, it exists. Now, for any repo on GitHub, when you see HTTPS GitHub.com, just put your cursor right before the dot, and it's going to be GitHub1S.com. And it's going to open up the repo in Visual Studio Code Online. So now it gives you the same experience that Octotree kind of gives, right? I have this tree. I can come in here and I can start uh, collapsing, expanding things, looking for uh, specific code files or snippets that I, that I care about. However, it's now in the context of Visual Studio Code Online. And so when I get to that file, it's really cool because let's find uh, a code file. Uh, the code's actually a little easier to read because it has all your color coding and all that great stuff in it, right? Uh, but not only that, you can actually do like cloud-based development. Now, I want to point out that this is not GitHub, okay? This is GitHub 1S. So if you search for GitHub 1S, uh, you're going to come to this uh, GitHub project called GitHub 1S. 
And this is the project that actually powers github1s.com, okay? And so if you go to this uh, to this link, and I'll, I'll put it in the description below uh, of this video, it kind of gives you instructions on how it works, all the codes available. And if you scroll down, I could say, oh yeah, you want to develop this in the cloud, uh, run Docker containers, and some documentation to it. It shows you how to uh, add this to private repos as well. Uh, but as you can see, you know, cloud-based development, local development, things like that. A lot of great instructions. I, I you know, recommend you, you check it out. But these are really the two that I really like. I probably use Octotree more uh, just because it's it's really handy. I don't have to go type in any uh, URLs. Uh, but sometimes, you know, code gets hard to read and I will open up a code file online uh, just to make it easier to, to kind of parse. Uh, but those are really my, my two little tips. Uh, there's other tools out there that do similar things. Uh, Octotree is the one I personally use. Uh, I'm curious if you have a trick. Do you have a trick that you use to navigate a code base uh, on GitHub? Uh, teach me something. I'd love to know. Otherwise, uh, tell me which option you like best. Do you like the Octotree menu here? Or do you prefer the GitHub1s.com trick where you can just put the 1s on GitHub and it's going to open up that repo in Visual Studio Code online. Let me know what you think. Uh, also, don't forget, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, and I hope you enjoy these tips. And let me know. I'm curious on what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.